good job posing. You usually hate it when I hold you like this. She's like, I do hate it. Hey guys. Little Wade. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done an update about Winnie here. She really dislikes it when I hold her up like this. Um, so I probably won't hold her up like this for the entirety of this video, but I wanted you guys to get a yep, good look at her first. Winnie has had a trim. And I knew that I was gonna want to share with you guys um, kind of what brought this along and the why and the how. Can you stay here? Here, why don't you go back on your pillow? Can you kind of see her? She's kind of in the video. There she is. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna be popping in um, either some clips or some pictures I haven't decided yet because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to hold winning up the duration of the video. I do want you to be able to see her. Hopefully I'm still in focus. Um, let's do there. There, you can kind of see her, right? Oh, she's so cute. Anyway, so Winnie, my dog, if you're unfamiliar, is a Shih Tzu and she is almost eight. She'll be eight in August and I have kept her in long coat for her entire life. I've never trimmed her aside from um, the bottom of her paws, so between her paw pads and around her um, tushy for hygiene. Um, that's the only place I've ever clipped her until about, I guess it's almost two months ago now. Uh, and I know this will come as a surprise to some people because I've always just thought I would keep her long for a while. Um, as long as she's happy and healthy, to me, um, there was, you know, that those are my two main priorities with Winnie, of course. Um, but her, she has been happy and healthy in a long coat for this entire time. My plan was, oh, you keep, oh, she's doing some maintenance there. Okay, well, I'll pop in, just give her some privacy. Um, my plan from the beginning was that I figured about the time that she turned 10, when I would consider her a senior, <laughs> I would trim her down. Um, just to make it easier on her, um, you know, as she ages, not to have to be groomed every day. She's always been very laid back about grooming. She really doesn't like the bath, but we only do that every, about every three weeks anyway. I mean, she's always been very laid back about the grooming and was fine with it, and I managed to fine with a newborn and an infant and now a toddler. It hasn't been a problem. It takes me on average 15 to 20 minutes a day to do, um, so it's not that time consuming. The bath days are much longer. I need a full hour. Um, I, previously, I needed a full 75 minutes to do the whole groom, bath, dry cycle. Um, but, uh, you know, I've, I've always been able to make time for that, and it's been kind of a special thing that we've always done. Um, since I've had her, is I've always brushed her every day, and it's it's part of our ritual, our daily ritual is part of our bond. And she's always, um, you know, just been really laid back and cool with it, and it's been fine. Well, around late last summer, just after she turned seven, it was really around that time that I saw a big switch in her. Uh, Winnie decided to get a little, not decided, she started to get a little antsy on the grooming table, which she had never been before. She usually just lays there, lets me brush her, and then she's fine. Um, she started to get a little antsy and a little sensitive. Um, and I didn't know if it was the heat of summer or, or what it was about, but I just noticed it. It wasn't much, it was just a little bit, but it got slowly, incrementally more noticeable with time. So that by the end of the year, I could tell that she, you know, I just felt like she wasn't really enjoying the grooming anymore. The daily grooming, she was ready for a change. Um, so I went, you know, we went to the vet for her regular checkup and I had them check her out just to make sure she was okay. Cause I know she was really extra sensitive on her chest. Um, She's in perfect health. She has no, absolutely no health issues or concerns. Um, so I ruled that out right away and I talked to the vet about trimming her hair because honestly I was a little bit hesitant that it would be too big of a change for her. I didn't know how she would handle it. I know some people are gonna think this is ridiculous, but I know my dog better than anybody else and she, 
you know, she's a creature of habit. She's a sensitive soul and, and I know, I just know her and I just was worried that, you know, I didn't, I wasn't sure how the trimming would go and I didn't know how much I needed to take off for her to be comfortable again on the grooming table. I didn't know. So basically what I decided to do was very, very incrementally this spring, I decided I was gonna do it. I didn't, I researched, I reached out to my breeder. I found different um, groomers around who had some experience with long haired dogs, cutting them down. But ultimately I just felt more comfortable doing it myself. I, even though I have absolutely zero, like Zippo, um, you know, experience in like cutting a dog. I have a lot of experience in brushing and bathing and you know, putting in the top knot and her hair in and stuff. A lot of experience with that because I've done it every day for seven plus years, but I don't have any experience in trimming a dog and I'm not good at hair. Like I'm not, uh, obviously. You are just having a really big grooming session, aren't you? It's like I can groom myself, mama. Um, anyway. Finally, after <laughs> Just a lot of research. I spent quite a bit of time researching on the internet through blogs and videos, um, cutting hair on Shih Tzu uh, specifically and different techniques and things. And a lot of people, in fact, I haven't found anybody who hand scissors their dog down to the kind of cut that Woody's in now, which I would call a like a teddy, almost a te long teddy bear cut. Um, most people, and mo almost all tutorials are about shaving your dog down. And I didn't want to shave her. Um, I'm, you know, we're not at that point yet, and I, I don't know if that's something we'll ever do, but I knew I wanted to hand scissor her, and I knew I wanted to keep her coat with some fluff to it, but much shorter, to not only um, reduce the amount of time on the grooming table, but sparse it out a little bit. So instead of having a groomer every day, it'd be like every other day or every two days, and it'd be like half the time, and I'd have to bathe her less often too, because she really hates the bath, she really does. So, after a long time researching all of that, I finally was like, you know what, we're just gonna start. I'm gonna do an inch a day, all the way around, and we're gonna go from there. And that's what I did, and that's really all I had time for anyway, with you know a toddler on my, you know, that I have to watch at the same time and Winnie doesn't want to be on the table that much either. Um, I spent maybe like 10 minutes a day taking an inch off of her. It took, the whole process took about two weeks for me to get her down to the length that she's at now. Um, and by the time I was done, everybody was really happy about it. I think she's adorable. My family thinks she's adorable. Um, she gets stopped even more on the street than she did before, which I thought was impossible because Winnie is a showstopper. And um, she is happier. First of all, it's a lot less hair for her to carry around. So I think, especially now that we're in the warm months, she's cooler in general. I've always shaved her belly for summer. I didn't mention that at the beginning. That is something I've always done. Um, that's not really trimming, but I always shaved her belly down for summer because that's how she cools off primarily is laying her belly on the cold floor. So she's definitely cooler, carrying less hair, and she's also um, just much back to being laid back about being on the grooming table. I groom her once every two to three days, and it takes 10, maybe 15 minutes on a long day, but more like 10 minutes. Um, and I only bathe her like once a month right now, but I think that I could extend that even more. Because she picked, mostly she got dirty from her long hair picking um, dirt up off the ground. Um, so she doesn't get as dirty anymore. Um, so it's definitely been a great decision. It, you know, and doing it an inch at a time helped me as a person with no, <laughs> Scissor, like no hair cutting experience. Um, I use two different kinds of scissors. They're both Chris Christensen. I will, I don't know if they, the first pair of scissors I have, I'm not sure they sell anymore. Um, I bought them when she was a puppy seven years ago. Um, they're Chris Christensen scissors, they're really high quality scissors, just like regular straight edge scissors. I bought a pair of blending scissors um, when I decided to take the plunge and cut her myself that have been instrumental and they just help kind of blend the coat and make it look less choppy. Um, I will say it's not like a professional job and it's not amazingly perfect, but I'm happy with it. Winnie's happy, which is my priority. 
and it's something I can easily do from home and I don't have to change up her routine. She doesn't have to go to a groomer. She doesn't have to, you know, I can still do everything. Um, since then, so like I said, it's been almost, I would say it's been like six to eight weeks. I don't remember exactly when I first started cutting her. Um, I have just now given her another full body trim, which I did in one go and it took me about 25 minutes. Since she's already shorter, I now have a pattern to follow because it's already cut, you know, so it's much easier. Also, there's significantly less hair than there was before. Her hair grows fast, I'm noticing. She grew about, a, like, even, I would say even a little bit more than an inch in the last six to eight weeks. So it's something I'm going to have to keep up with, but it's just reducing every, you know, all the grooming time in general, which is a good thing, and she's much happier. So I think she's just getting older and just wanted a change and just wasn't as comfortable in the longer grooming sessions anymore, the daily ones, I mean, 15, 20 minutes. It's a long time for a dog and she's just, her hair has just gotten bigger and thicker and longer as she has gotten older and I think that's definitely a big part of it too. Her hair over the last year has just really, really gotten even more like voluminous and just, there's just so much of it. So I think it was time, self in time to take it down, but she still looks classically Shih Tzu to me and just cute as a button. Um, my family keeps remarking how she looks like a puppy again because it kind of looks like she does when she, you know, she was growing out as a puppy and it's just all good. Um, so I wanted to do an update here because it is a big change for us um, and I know a lot of you guys are Winnie fans. Winnie, can you come here? So I can show you off a little bit. Come here. Come see mama. Come on. Come on. Come see mama. That's my girl. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to put in some clips because it's really hard to hold her up here. Um, you can see I kept her face really pretty long. I think I could take this down a little bit more, uh, but I wanted to keep that a little bit longer because I wanted to keep her hair up in, in knots. Um, but her body's pretty short. I'll hold her up for a second. She's not going to like that. She's got this kind of fluffy puppy look right now. She looks a lot more put together when I'm not holding her up like a wet, wet rag. Um, but uh, she's just here. I'm sorry. I, I disturbed your beauty rest. Oh, you going to stop with me? Thanks. She's just a really good girl. And I'm just, you know, like I said, her priority, my priority is her happiness and her health. And just, you know, being in tune with that and, and understanding her needs and, and adapting to them. If at some point I need to shave her down for to maintain her happiness and her health, I will definitely do that in a heartbeat. I won't even think about it. Um, but for now, this is working out great and she's doing great. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. It's kind of random to be talking to the internet about cutting my dog's hair, but I feel felt like I owed you guys, um, you know, an explanation and, and to let you see Winnie. And um, I don't know if you have any questions. I'm not gonna do like dog grooming tutorials or anything. I've kind of passed that baton on, <laughs> but um, I will just say if you are thinking of cutting down a long dog, do your research, buy good quality instruments, especially if you plan on doing it yourself, it is a worthwhile investment to have good quality scissors and blending shears, I would definitely recommend for a Shih Tzu especially. And just do a little bit at a time until you figure out your groove and make, you know, your dog has a has an actual pattern of a haircut that you like and then it's just so much easier once that's already in place to follow when you have to do subsequent um, trims. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll torment you one more time and that's it. Say thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for thinking of me. I love you all. <laughs> okay, bye guys, take care. Okay, the torture is over. The torture is over. You're such a good girl, I know.